Looking at plenty of sunshine this midday and the lack of clouds is going to help those temperatures soar and they're already pretty much doing that as you take the temperature, put that along with the humidity and this is what it feels like at the noon hour 102 Brownsville, 104 Harlingen, 101 Raymondville, 102 McAllen, 100 La Jolla, 100 out at Roma and these numbers are still going to rise a little bit further from that as we go through peak heating in the middle part of the afternoon. Just a few high clouds out there and also just a few little cumulus clouds moving south to north along with the surface flow there and that is all that humidity coming in as well but high pressure is keeping the moisture from really doing anything more than what you see out there right now and that's a lot of calm conditions and there's your high pressure so basically the southern say three quarters of the Gulf of Mexico is quiet we do have some impulses going up and around that high pressure bringing some showers and storms to the northern parts and central parts of the state earlier this morning but not going to see any of that make it this far down towards the south there are your high temperatures forecast for this afternoon mid upper 90s to lower 100s near 90 degrees there along the coastal areas and those winds are already starting to pick up out there we've seen some wind gusts up around 25 to 30 miles per hour already and we'll see that continue this afternoon some breezy conditions and it's going to feel like 100 to 108 as we go through again the peak heating which is between two and four o'clock that's when those numbers will be the highest up there. So make sure you stay hydrated. Drink, uh, of course, plenty of water. Stay hydrated. Uh, make sure your pets have plenty of shade and water. Check that back seat. And, of course, make sure you check on your neighbors and, and just do, do all the necessary things because this heat is going to stick around for some time to come. High pressure again over the Gulf. This is going to take us all the way through the first part at least of next week. So in ex excess of seven days of seeing sinking air. That's the high means dry. No rain, increased humidity, of course. And that means warmer overnights as well. So above normal overnight lows and above normal daytime highs as well. So that's kind of the pattern we're in. We're in the middle of summer, absolutely. Here's Futurecast for the rest of the afternoon and evening. Just to, again, a few high clouds possible across the area. Then overnight tonight, early tomorrow morning, there is an outside chance that a couple of little coastal showers might develop, but they're going to be few and far between. That's basically going to be between, uh, say, midnight and sunrise tomorrow morning. Other than that, it's going to be another uh, dry, hot day ahead and the tropical outlook looking a little bit of activity out there, although the Hurricane Center just given this area a 10 percent chance of development over the next five days. We still have Tropical Storm Edward out over the North Atlantic moving away from the U.S. mainland with 45 mile an hour winds and then the Hurricane Center watching this area just right off the coast of the Florida Peninsula there moving out towards the Atlantic giving it a 40 percent chance of development over the next five days. We still have the Saharan dust out there, although it's starting to kind of lighten up a little bit, thin out a little bit, and so that's actually helped our air quality out there. We'll still have it around for the rest of the week, but we've gone from unhealthy back down just into that moderate level there, so still causing some problems out there. Seven day forecast them the weekend always in view. It's going to be plain and simple. Hot and dry week ahead. Plenty of sunshine highs in the upper 90s, lower 100s, and lows during the overnight near 80.